podcast, they can find Value Town. You know, come up in their search results a little bit more. Uh, okay, so let's go to uh, Mechatorx Workshop. We've actually got a couple cards that we had um, some patrons and a fan uh, submit to us. So uh, the, these are interesting this week. Oh, oops, not this one. Okay, so we've got first off Mayor Payne from Johan L. And I think this <clears throat> is this supposed to be like Major Payne, you know, that, that type of pain, or is this like something else I'm missing? Is there a Mayor Payne in World of Warcraft or something that I'm missing? Um, I have no idea. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this is a four mana, two seven body, legendary battle cry, destroy a beast and gain taunt. So this is like a monster. This is like a complete monster. This should have been a hunter card. Uh, there are so many beasts yeah. in the game. This is yeah. extremely powerful, yeah, right? Like, yeah, I think this is... Like, what would he kill, actually, right now in... Dream? I mean, you is think in the meta right now, one of the big ones, it would kill Gentle Megasaur, pretty big one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Megasaur. that's that's true. Anything in Hunter. Yeah, Yeah, it's hard, it's hard class. Hunter, but Hunter's not even really yeah. good right now, so I guess it's Maybe. like... It'd be good against yeah. Aggro Druid because you can kill Raven or Fledgling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or, it's a Flappy Bird Fox killer. Or... I think this was made to be a yeah. Flappy Bird killer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Made, this guy has just played against Flappy Bird over and over again. Let's just oh, Hydra. Need to kill Flappy Bird. <laughs> bitter Tide Hydra. Oh, Bitter That's Tide. Oh, wow. wow. That's a wow. huge one, actually. That is huge. Dude. Pirate Warrior wow. drops it. You just I know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> GG, and when you get a taunt, ever... and you get <laughs> crabs. Crabs. Yep. Any hungry crabs. Oh man, yeah. I mean, like for four card. mana, like it's it's. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it'd be good at two five, like <laughs> yeah, two, exactly. Seven. Um, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, so de definitely an interesting card. Uh, killing a beast, I think, would be really really good right now. Um, next one we got here is Faux Reaper five thousand, and this is from oh, Raydan, one of our patrons, and this is a rogue card, three mana, two one mech. Uh, it's a legendary charge. Whenever you equip a weapon, this minion may attack again. So this is like huh. shadow, shadow reaper mech <laughs> kind of thing. I kind shadow of reaper like mech. It. Yeah. I mean, if other mechs were good, like if other mechs were good right now, you know, and you could have mech decks, then or the, are there even any mechs really in standard? They're all like a barely. bit rotated out. They're, they're yeah, barely. Points. So I, I actually kind of like it if there were more synergy cards. But um, I like that yeah. it's. I like that it incentivizes weapons for rogue. So obviously the most yeah. most uh, obvious thing is just a hero power and then do it again. You know that sort yeah. of thing. Um, but you know maybe you could be you know maybe you could play boomerang or doomerang and that kind of stuff and figure out some kind of crazy aggro deck. Yeah, I'm just kind of imagining a situation where you have like a bu five or six weapons in your hand and you're just equipping them all over and over again just to keep <laughs> keep <laughs> machine gun rogue, yeah. man. Doomerang. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the worst thing about this card: the fact that you don't want to like you're only ever going to equip a, a weapon once, but uh, you're not going to equip one and then just equip another one again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's probably not. Yeah, it probably wouldn't see any play, but it's a cool concept. Yeah, I think so too. I, I. I think that rogue needs some help with the the weapon situation the doomerang i think has has created some very interesting scenarios but not mm. viable at all still unfortunately yeah. they've created the you, main you know situations. if you um you know if you doomerang the rogue's dagger and it goes back to your hand do you know if that costs one or two mana i don't actually know oh that's a good that's a I good have no uh, idea. i would imagine I would... it costs one but one, so? yeah. I mean, i'm not sure but i mean it does cost two to equip it so, our it's equipment. True. Yeah. So, yeah. It costs, yeah, ch chat's saying it's one. It's one? Yeah, it's okay, one. okay. Oh, yeah. chat, chat knows? Oh, okay. Good okay. job, okay. chat. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, chat. chat. Thank goodness Cold chat, blood man. with this card. Cold blood, <laughs> dagger up. Oh, there you go. oh yeah. Cold blood damage so there. Good. Yeah, totally, it would be a great finish for, for Rogue. Uh, so, good stuff. This is almost like um, Argent Horse Rider, you know? <laughs> that, that sort of feel to it. Uh, but, yeah. But you can of. just keep, you know obviously enabling it to charge again yeah like if you were playing boomerang you might play this maybe mm -hmm. yeah maybe okay maybe. uh yeah so anyway if you guys have any cards definitely submit those to valuetown at chainmaybe.tv and we'll try to get to them um 
if you didn't see your card in the last couple of weeks, just resubmit it again because that, that's kind of what we do. Like every week we kind of look through them, find them. I don't go back several weeks just because a lot of times some of the, the cards are, I don't know, just might become old or irrele irrelevant. So I don't want to have to choose between those or make those decisions. So go ahead and just resubmit them and we'll reevaluate re them each and every week. Um, okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is really deck of the week. So um, we had... A deck of week this past week with the Frost Lich Jaina Mage, and it went really, really well. I had a lot of people submit their winning percentages and uh, had four new patrons actually on the mini show that we do every Monday. So uh, deck of the week, I figured we would find another kind of fun deck. It might be, the winning percentage might not be too good on this one, guys, but we're going to go <laughs> with, you know, something that people probably have never, or don't usually play on a regular basis, so deck of the week will kind of get you guys to play it. Dead Man's Hand Warrior. <laughs> you might have seen I have not played this. Channels. Yes, yes. I haven't I played a little I played the giant version at one point, but I never never this version of it, which is mostly about like fatigue and things like that, right? So mm -hmm. um Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna give this a run and I'll be curious to see what the highest winning percentage will be for this deck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, get to your stopping points, guys. Get to you know five and ten and fifteen. And then like start rolling this deck and see how yeah you do, but if I get fifty percent, I'd be happy. Fifty percent, I'd be happy with forty percent to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all I'd be happy. But yeah, we're gonna. I think I gotta go that. and like watch some sh watch some uh, streams of like dog playing it and yeah. and then <laughs> like grasp how to properly pilot this deck because yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't tried it yet myself. I think but, the hardest hey. thing about this deck is. Like when you're setting up your dead man's hands, and you kind of there's certain cards you want to put back in your deck, and then there's certain cards you don't mm -hmm. want to put back in your deck, and it's like setting up the dead man's hand is always a yeah. bit of a problem. But I mean, just takes one, a lot of practice. One to hint, play though, or at well. least one suggestion to everybody is you can't play dead man's hand unless you have the uh, two of them, <laughs> you know, so that you get yeah. that kind of infinite mm -hmm. thing going. So don't play your dead man's hand the very first one without the other, then then you'll just be completely boned, <laughs> like completely oh, screwed. It. Yeah. Um, Apparently, Doug got it to rank two legend. Did he? It's possible then. I guess if you pilot it correctly. Ooh, look yeah. at that. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, he, he wrote a, a guide on it as well. You can look, Google yeah. it. Mill's pretty good right now. Like, especially if you play against Jade. Like, if you just shut Jade down, or at least the Jade Idols down, you can mill Jade yeah. a lot with this deck. I've seen people do it. Yeah, I mean, that, this deck has so much removal. It's one of the only decks that can actually deal with Jade. Like, as if you, you, with the Geist, you can still deal with the Jades no matter how big they get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, up to about 10 tens anyway. But then you just get rid of the Jade Elves and you sort it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Give it a try, guys, and, um, you know, play it. I'll post it on the Patreon website, too, patreon.com slash value town. If you're not a patron, you can still partake and play this deck and let us know what your results are. Um, but... For the patrons, what we do is we do a, a mini show that's audio only every Monday, and uh, we just have the patrons on as guests talking about their experiences, and we just kind of share just any tips or anything that we noticed about the decks, and it's been going really, really well. I think patrons have been very, very happy uh, about participating in it, and it just makes us feel good, so <laughs> that's definitely yeah. great. Hey. Guys, apparently, um, apparently having two battle rages in this deck is is better. So oh, is I, if okay. we want to, yeah, yeah, if we want to, maybe I can send a modified version and then you guys, because I don't want to give you guys a worse version for deck of the week. So I'm just looking at it like there's no fiery works. Yeah, right? yeah, we're preparing. Am I dreaming? We're yeah. preparing for next week. I've got a wow. good uh, the, the good list now. So okay, good list. Wow. All right, so I'll, I'll post the the real list on the Patreon page right after the show. Too. Yeah. It's like one car difference, basically. But okay, yeah, yeah. it's kind of crazy. It has no fireworks, but it makes yeah. sense once you start playing it. I, I believe. Okay, um, next thing we have is a host challenge. So we we failed on the last one, guys. Like we we just never did the 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 rogue one when Toast was on, trying to get us to uh. to create the the seven you know one ones or whatever. So hopefully we can accomplish this one. The host challenge this week, and it's suggested suggested by Michael M. Play all seven types of giants onto the board in a single turn. So I'll, we gotta wow. play wild. I, I think yeah. we, we should play wild just because we. I think we're gonna need some Naga Sea Witch help, <laughs> and um, we, we have to pull it off. So if we all, if any of us pull it off, gotta screenshot that puppy. And uh, I actually it has to be on a single turn too. So 
Can we clip it? Uh, may, maybe just screenshot would be good enough. We can screenshot, screenshot. all seven all right. of them. That's pretty hard to do. Like, guys, yeah. seven <laughs> giants. It's been done, though. It, it's yeah. on Reddit. I need, to, I need to see it being done. Because if totally you play, like, because we've been doing this, this October Brawl, and it's we've been playing it in wild, yeah. I've come across some of these giant decks where, like, you don't know what they're doing for a bit, and then suddenly on turn five, it's like, whoa. Right? It's giants. like, boom, giants. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, oh, we okay. go in seven. Wait, wait, where are the seven giants? God, I gotta actually go through this. It's sea giant, molten giant, mountain giant, uh, arcane giant. What's the frost one? The frost giant, right? Just frost, frost giant. giant, molten, arcane, frost, uh, sea, clockwork giant, clockwork giant. Oh my god, a clockwork giant. <laughs> oh, that's going yeah, is that 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 a card. Uh, there's one more, no fury giant. Snow Fury. I thought I said Snow that. Fury. Also, we have to play Shaman. <laughs> so we have to play Shaman. Oh, I guess that's true, right? Oh, yeah, we yeah. have to play Shaman then. I wouldn't even think about that. I'll be playing, like, Mage or something. Man, I can't get the Seventh Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Seventh Giant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the Seventh one? Because there's a Frost... Is there a Frost Giant and a Snow Fury Giant? Yeah, there's Frost, Snow Fury, Mountain, Mountain, Mountain Molten. Yeah. Mountain. Okay, okay. so there's two Snow yeah. ones. Okay. All right. Well, so the, the hardest thing is that you have to first play the Naga Sea Witch, then yeah. play six giants, then kill off your Naga Sea Witch, yeah. and then play another giant. Oh my god! Very hard. Or, or you <laughs> yeah. just do all the necessary things for all of them and still have like nine cards in your hand, ten cards in your hand, and play the Mountain Giant too. <laughs> all of them yeah. are zero except for the wow. Mountain Giant, that, and the wow. the Molten Giant. That's gonna be pretty hard. Oh my god! How do they do? That? Very oh hard. God. Are we gonna do this? This is gonna be. Yeah, hard. I don't know if this is possible. We yeah. can try though. We can try. Maybe just like snapshot your best attempt at it. See how many we can actually okay. get down. Sounds good. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some Q and A. We got some questions, some email questions from our listeners or and our patrons. Oliver H asks, given that we're talking about giants, what do you guys think of the changes to the cost of giants? Discount after other effects, Aviana, Nagasi Witch, etc. Those are really the only ones, <laughs> I believe. Mm. So, yeah, uh, what do you guys think of this? There's been a lot of complaints recently. I believe that it's just broken because they're all they're always zero. <laughs> you know, like, your giants are always going to be zero if you get that Naga Sea Witch discount. Um, mm -hmm. And we're, we're apparently seeing it a bunch in Wild, like just a lot of giant decks. So, yep. um, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think it's, you think it's a, a negative thing or you think it's out of control? I definitely think it's a negative thing. Um, purely few through. I mean, I've only been playing wild for a few days. Like, I don't play that much wild normally, but so I would probably need to play a bit more to have a really good understanding of it. Opinion. Yeah, same. But at the same time, I played games, and it's like if they get to turn five, you'd lose the game. Um, unless you have something like a light bomb that can deal with a million giants, like you can just do your normal things. You play your your, your perfect curve, your zombie child, your mini bot, your Mustafa battle, your shredder, and then they just play six giants and you just lose. <laughs> it's, That's it's, yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd say it's probably not a positive. <laughs> um, yeah. Haven't played enough to, to really... But they changed know, this I've, I've on purpose. I've faced it a couple times. They changed this on yeah. purpose, though. So, I mean, uh -huh. like, <laughs> can we explain that? <laughs> they... yeah, I'm not really sure why, honestly. I, I mean, maybe they should nerf Naga Sea Witch so it's like a bit more mana or something. Nerf like that, Naga so. Sea Witch. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, it's not the, it's literally this that one. I mean, to be fair, like sometimes they won't draw the Naga Sea Witch and then they're not going to be able to pull it off and then they'll probably lose. But it's it's that type of thing where it's so high rolly. It's like, it's like big priests. It's like if they draw the bombs, they win. If they don't, yeah. in a bad spot. I mean, um, I, yeah. maybe Naga Sea Witch could be more like, um, the scout instead you know it's, it's not all of your minions it's just like one yeah 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 so maybe you could do something like that but okay. have you played it against it at all chris um i've never played against it because i just haven't been playing that much like wild recently but i've seen yeah. definitely so many clips of people <laughs> losing to it yeah it's yeah. kind of <laughs> insane um, probably not a good thing yeah I, it's just they they chose to do it like it was a specific change they made in the last patch you know like to change mm -hmm. this so i just i mean i don't understand why <laughs> like ever just to see how broken nah, it can be <laughs> i mean they should have tested that right? maybe i mean they probably, they probably tested they must have tested it a bit and stuff but it's it's a bit too over the top 
Like, if it was something where it, they could pull off a combo like this later in the game, yeah. then yeah, sure. But when it's on turn five, it's it's, it's too, too much. Yeah. Too yeah. Much. I, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's something that happened very, very quickly, too. So, um, anyways, the, it, it, hopefully they'll do something about it. They haven't said anything about doing anything about it yet. Um, but I, I feel like this is something that can become out of control on wild and just completely break wild or just take over wild and it's just ridiculous so hopefully they will do that uh but we got a question from jeff b a patron my observation was that most people thought quests would be quite powerful but few were death knights were the opposite most people thought they would be too slow and not enough impact for their costs but most of them have strong decks built around them which of the dk surprised you the most druid hmm. for me like i i just when i looked at all of them I didn't think, okay, but it might not actually be Druid. It, like, the Death Knight itself is really that powerful. It's just kind of everything else with it. But um, I was surprised, I guess, with how good the Druid one was. Um, yeah. That's interesting, though, because I didn't really think that they they weren't going to be powerful, honestly. Um, yeah. yeah. I thought they were going to be powerful. I thought um, they were going to be powerful, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the ones that surprised me the most is definitely the druid is stronger than I thought it was. Yeah. Um, I think this, that's partially just because of the strength of druid as a whole. Exactly, though, right, right, right. Specific right. Card itself. And I actually thought the paladin one would see more play. I didn't, the, I didn't think the paladin one was like amazing, but I thought it was decent. Yeah, I agree. Mm, yeah, I that might just be because there's not that much control paladin, but... Mm. Maybe. That was like, like last. <laughs> I think that was close to last. Yeah. Have you ever ended a game with the Four Horsemen? Yes. I've you have? been killed. Mm. Have you really? Wow. Uh, I've in in wild, though, with Emperor. I haven't done it in Standard. Oh, okay. I haven't done it in standard. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been killed I've, multiple I've... times, honestly, with it. Like, people really? play uh, Burgly Bully, and, and they just they they get it off, yeah. Wow. It's happened to you okay. like four or four <laughs> times. Wow. Okay. I, what happens? What actually happens when that happens? When... They they get the four. The animation is not cool enough. You just they really just explode. <laughs> you, just, you just explode seriously. That's yeah. so lame. I mean, there's a bit of an animation. That's so but... lame. That should be amazing. I mean, yeah, okay, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit of an animation, but yeah, you just yeah, there's a little bit. But you want it to be like over the top. Oh, you want it to be like yeah. anomalous type. Everything blows up in the air and they get yeah, crazy. like they come like 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 they come combine and all of a sudden there's like a yeah. giant sickle that comes down on your face because like it's something yeah. awesome like that would be or just like a giant horse or I don't know stampeding over you just a, four of them stampeding over you or something. Um, okay, well, yeah. hopefully they'll work on something cooler for that because that is not an easy thing to pull off. Uh, but yeah yeah but i thought the paladin one was going to be good mainly not really for the hero power though mainly just for the weapon like the the whole yeah just like the, control control card, five damage right? weapon, the, the, the five damage weapon that also has life steal like that's 15 yeah. healing plus yeah. 15 damage which is mm -hmm. i think pretty, the uh the one i mean i, I think all, like the druid one is has been pretty surprising too but just to say something different i think the mage one has been surprising to me too it's it's been pretty effective when i've i have played it I don't think it's anything that's like crazy broken powerful like the priest one or anything, but it it fits well into the game. Let's just put you that way. Like I actually expected the Jaina to be exactly how she was. Like mm -hmm. good, but not that good. Like it's 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 yeah. good. It fits well in the control mage uh list, but it's certainly not broken, but it's solid. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what I expected from it. Okay, uh, let's see. We got another question here. Ahmed N. What is the, what is the, what is the most well-designed card in the game? So we. Oh my god. Yeah. I was, that's what we were supposed to think about, guys. We were supposed I have to an come up with card, something. Actually. Oh, I'm going to have to yeah. say my same answer. I'm going to say Arch the Squire because it's the only one drop from the start of the game that's always been good and not been nerfed. <laughs> Other than like Lepanome and abusive and okay. every okay. one drop just gets abused. Except Arch and Squire. <laughs> <laughs> Those abusive sergeants. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so Argent Squire. Wow. I think that Tar Creeper is a really well designed card. Okay, okay. That's um, a good one. Yeah. Definitely like Tar Creeper. Mm, I think it introduced the the concept of offense defense, you know, having mm -hmm. different bodies for or different states for each of those. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Um yeah. 
I mean, you've heard it before, guys. I still think the best, most, most well-designed card in the game is Pyromancer. Just because... Yeah, Pyro is a great card. Yeah. Great card. You know it's good because it's been a super powerful card for a long time, and nobody complains about it. Like, it does way more damage than a two-mana should. You know, like, yet nobody complains about it at all. So, um, yeah. yeah I, I, I think that that's just indicative of a very, very well-designed card. Uh, all right. I think Great. another card that... Okay. Another more recent card that is, I think, is very well-designed that kind of hasn't seen that much play yet, but I think we'll start seeing more players. The the Rogue Death Knight, like it's so slow, but you can get so much value out of it in, in the long run. And it's mm -hmm. kind of like the stealth is kind of, it's kind of just like exactly what Rogue wants, just like a little bit of time to prepare for a big mm -hmm. turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I agree I, I really that. like the Rogue Death Knight. <laughs> I think Frostless Jaina is well designed too. Like I, yeah. I think, yeah. I agree. you know, setting up, scenarios where you can get value is where you know there's a lot of you know skill nuance to the game you know that, that's the kind of hearthstone i like to see is like when you have to try yeah. to you know puzzle it out you know to just to get a lot of value and, and things like that not when you know you just play one card and you get you know five cards and five five body and a five <laughs> damage fireball and uh you know five armor too you know like yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of cool when you have to actually work for the value um someone said um doomsayer in chat and i actually i totally agree like i, I love doomsayer that's, mm -hmm. i think that's a that's a great card it's a, it's amazing staple of control decks a lot of the time so yeah i like doomsayer i think doomsayer is good i i don't generally like a card that's powerful enough just to kill the entire you know like it literally is powerful enough to kill the entire board and it's only two man yeah and, you know so in it's, terms of like, like, like yeah yeah in no, terms I still of like balance it. that's like, yeah, I'd, I'd say Doomsayer is like above average. Yeah, it's thing. definitely a powerful right. card for sure. Yeah, it's just nobody complains about it because it's again, it's yeah. it, it's needed. <laughs> it's very very needed. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> but think about it, you get seven stats for two mana. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like a ton of stats. Yeah, maybe it's maybe uh, most balanced or most well designed isn't maybe yeah. the that perfect yeah description of it but i'd still think it's a great card it's definitely necessary though that card we, yeah we, how, where would we be without that card right now where would um, we be without yeah. Doomsayer? <laughs> i know uh all right richard m last question here wondering what you think of mill decks given that we were just talking a little bit about the dead man's hand given that the less aggro environment we see in uh knights of the frozen throne skulking geist has made it possible to win with mill decks against jay druid and several of the common decks fail easily to a mill deck like uh, examples are big easy priest handlock i'm looking at you <laughs> okay so i guess what do we think of mill decks right now in the current meta i haven't played them myself yet but i do think that they actually have a place in the meta right now like people are definitely experimenting with them and um yeah i mean i think they're they're kind of in a decent spot honestly yeah, I I agree. I actually tried Mill uh, Druid near the start of the expansion, and it did way better than I thought it would do. I was like, "What's going on here?" Like, <laughs> I haven't played it much since, but it was actually really good. And I've seen people experiment with Rogue and Mage a bit. Like, mm -hmm. there are a lot of cards in Wild that you wish you could have. Like, oh, you wish you could have Death Lord. You wish you could have like Healbot, Gang Up, uh, like various cards from different classes. Right. But I I would agree that the meta is probably in a fairly good spot for mill decks yeah. yeah yeah it might be the best i mean it's at least the very best in a very long time just because would we would we say that this is the most like control meta that we've had because i'm because then that would explain it right because mills typically mm -hmm. good and I mean, I, i'm I think... not sure i i yeah. haven't been playing since beta so i'm not i'm not a version of that sure <laughs> yeah. i mean like we were saying earlier how like there's very little mid-range at the moment a lot of aggro of con and control like mid-range decks always like do like just crush mill decks yeah. right um and you generally mill decks crush control decks right. and then the thing about mill decks is that they also have quite a lot of like removal so they've got a lot of removal and then a lot of kind of yeah 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 so they can be actually really good against very aggressive decks as well so that could be a reason why they're so good right now they're good against the control decks and they stand a bit of a chance against the yeah the other stuff yeah that's a lot of fun i mean especially for uh you know some of those 
nil only players <laughs> that, that at least historically <laughs> like to stream nil decks. Uh, this is probably as good as we're gonna get environment wise for mill decks. And you know, mill decks are cool to watch. I, I don't know if I'd love to see a, a meta full of yeah. mill decks. I mean, that would yeah. be, <laughs> no, that, would, that, would be terrible. Would, that would not be that. It great. just kills me losing to mill decks. I just yeah. it's like stabbing yeah. me in the in the gut whenever I, I know the inevitable is happening. I just won't press the concede button though. Uh, but it, it's it's definitely a different way to play Hearthstone, and I'm always you know appreciative of like a completely different way to win in Hearthstone. So uh, it's definitely great whenever it's viable. All right, well I think we've covered everything that we are wanting to cover. Um, yeah, why don't we do some shout outs to close out the show? Jackie, you want to start us off? Shout out to everyone supporting Team Void. Keep it up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the pack. Uh, shout out to Fate Karma as ever for uh, supporting me and Ali as, as streamers. Uh, thank you to our patrons for supporting us, helping us continue uh, on the show. And uh, thank you to my co-hosts. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Ali, how about you? Still got to hold a little bit of resentment towards Jackie. <laughs> uh, thank you uh, to everyone that is supporting Team Light. I appreciate it very much. I know the other card back, card back might be a little flashy, but you know, <laughs> Team Light all the way. So thanks for supporting us. Um, yeah, as Jackie said, thank you to all the patrons. Um, chat, we love you. You know, go chat. Um, and I think that's all I got. And also to Blizzard, thanks for you know including Jackie and I in this competition. We really appreciate it. So, yeah, um, yeah that's it for me. All right, that's cool. Um, I will, uh, I guess, round things off by by saying um, you know thanks to the, my co-hosts for doing the show, obviously, and um, all everybody else for watching, of course. You can find the vods for this on chamanv dot or <laughs> youtube dot com slash chamanv, and. Um, Oh, shoot, I was trying to do something cool, but I'm like, I guess, guess I can't do it now. <laughs> but I was trying to get the, I was trying to get the Team Light symbol up here, just like. But um, anyways, I, I'm Team Light right now, so for this week, I'm going to be totally promoting Team Light, given that I'm all about underdogs too right now, and they are definitely the underdogs. Yes. So definitely go Team Light this week. I, you know, I'll, I'll be obviously popping fences, so you know, forgive me, uh, we'll but see. there's obvious reasons for doing so. Uh, but uh, definitely check check out Value Town on iTunes as well as Google Play by searching for Value Town or searching for Hearthstone and you'll you'll find us. Uh, leave us a review too if you want to help us out. Um, also, um, we're on SoundCloud too, soundcloud.com slash chamanv. I think a lot of people don't know that all the shows are on SoundCloud too if you uh, want to listen to that also. Um, and uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash value town and throw a pledge away. We really, really appreciate it. And, um, you know, you guys, again, are, are the only ones that are, are, are the main people that make this show happen. So really, really thank you guys for that. All right. That's going to be it guys for value town this week. So for Jackie Chan, Ali Straza, and myself, Chan Man B, we'll see you next week. Bye guys. See you later. Bye.